Hi, I'm Brandon. Thanks for watching this video. So in the best, uh, previous video, I already talked about how to use Easy.chat to build your own auto reply for your WhatsApp number so that your customer can like go through your services before like talk to you. And in this video, what I'm going to talk about is the feature called Data Responder. And this feature is very cool for services like uh, uh, parcel shipment or some uh, F&B businesses they want to allow customer to track their orders so uh, without wasting time I'm going to showcase how to set up the data responder okay so now in this screen you will see that uh, uh, I have my easy to chat login and also the whatsapp number that I want to test later okay so um, before you set up anything you have to go to menu you log in to to easy to chat then you uh, select data responder okay so uh, here are some of the data that are previously created so I will be deleted it first okay so for the for, if let's say you log in to this uh, feature for the first time it will be empty all right so but the first thing I want you to do is you go to setting okay so here inside the setting it have three different settings that allow you to set so this is the setting if let's say uh, you, you your customer already start to check your, the order right and this is, are the messages that you want to send them one is before the result is sent to them and one is after the result is sent to them so the third setting here is where if let's say the order number is matching but the phone number is not matched you will show an error so that uh, the only the order the, the parcel owner can check that order okay so after you set this you go back to your data responding list okay so before uh, you key in some data here all right uh, here you can like manually key in one by one but uh, we have the feature called import data so that you can straight away import all your data in one glance so now I'm going to show you how to prepare your data so you click import data and here there's a link that allow you to download my our template before you uh, prepare so after you download the, the CSV file okay here um, so so in this screen I'm going to show you how to set up the I'm going to prepare the database for you to import to our portal so here in the first column is the customer phone number so it doesn't really matter on if they say uh, let's say I have for one, one same customer I have two different uh, or, uh, uh, like orders so you can do that as well okay it doesn't uh, it won't clash actually so and this number is uh, the first data is 015 actually my number is 016 so later I will show when I provide this code number and it will show error okay because uh, I'm going to show you the feature when the number is incorrect okay so after I prepare this so I save it uh, yeah I will go through the the the, the uh, CFG more review for the first column yes the phone numbers and the second column is the data that you want your customer to key in to like uh, respond to your whatsapp number okay and the third one is the responses that you want to give them okay so if let's say uh, uh, the data is matching for both phone and the keywords here so it will respond this one so here okay I've already done this and I go back to my uh, EC chat so here uh, in my EC dot chat I click import data and I choose the file that I want to import okay the file that I just edited then I click start import okay so once the data is imported I click here it will go back to my list yeah see here this is all the data that are uh, already uh, modified uh, in my CSV file of course you still can uh, modify the data on the fly from the portal which is you just click the empty button and you save it here so if let's say this uh, order is 
let's say this policy number still in pending for example okay this is update the data okay then you go back to your data responder so here it's already updated so now the next thing i want to uh do is i go to my whatsapp and okay now i type demo so if let's say you have our cust our uh, services line number you can do this as well you can just type in demo and our system will reply you back with uh, some selection here so uh, based on the data that i prepared just now uh, i am choosing the industry for insurance for for this video purposes okay so yeah let's say the message is greeting in okay hi thanks for contacting abc agency please choose the below option by typing the codes example d1 so now what i want to do is i want to check my policy so uh, it's about policy matters so i will type in d21 okay so the system replying me back yeah i selected policy mem uh, matters so what i want to do is i want to uh, check my policy details so it's d212 right so i reply the back yeah so it will ask me to like please provide your policy number that you wanted to check uh, you can check your policy number on the front cover page so like everyone bought uh insurance policy before so you will know that uh, your policy number is actually in front of the the, the policy okay so now i want to check my policy number so the first i want to do is uh, i want to check the the uh, incorrect first so let's say i have this number and but my phone number is not this one okay right so i tap in so it, it matches so you say that this policy number not match with your user number please check again so yeah this is it and uh, the next thing i want to do is this policy number i tap in again so it will reply okay this is the result of the policy tracking policy date so this is actually the data that i key in in this portal here all right so if let's say the second data that i will be paid so I key in so it will provide me the same things okay the first message then the result then the end with end message so this is how you can utilize this data uh, responder to allow your user to have a custom uh, data check with their order numbers. So this feature is very powerful and very useful for uh, industry like uh, puzzle delivery and online or food orders, online orders, online uh, purchase uh, businesses that allow your customer to do manual checking through the WhatsApp numbers. So, okay, so that's it, um, that's all for this uh, video, uh, I hope that you learn uh, a lot from this video that uh, you can, how you can use uh, easy.chat to manage your uh, business WhatsApp number. So in the future, I will be recording more video like this to showcase on how to utilize this uh, uh, easy thought chat so thanks for watching and see you in next video thank you bye bye